there are few players in world football that have ever been talked about more than Lionel Messi. The only other one could be his eternal rival, Ronaldo, and even then, that's questionable. Since setting the world alight from the age of 17, there have been countless videos made about the Argentine maestro. Many of them just have the same information over and over again, but we can promise you that we have had sleepless nights and peered into countless articles to bring you information about him that you may not have heard anywhere else. So strap in and let us tell you six things about Lionel Messi that you may never have noticed. We promise, these are new. Number one, he does not touch other women in photos. Being Messi comes with a lot of privileges and one such is meeting many people across his lifetime. From fans to world and religious leaders, he has met a huge number of them throughout his career and meeting them comes with another aspect taking photos. Countless photos of the Argentine captain exist with different people and some of them tend to be female, obviously, given that they make up more than half the population of the globe. The crazy thing is that Messi never touches the women he takes photos with, and we really mean never. Now, you might be thinking that it's not such a hard thing to do, but just imagine how many female fans Messi has met and imagine never even putting a friendly arm around a single one of them. Crazy, right? But it's actually true. The women can put their hands around him and even hug him, but Messi never ever shows the same level of affection, simply smiling with his hands at his side as the picture is taken. Maybe he knows how good he has it at home with his beautiful wife and thus shows respect in that way. Or maybe Antonella just has a possessive side to her that only Messi knows. Either way, this is something that is surely unique to the Argentinian. Number two, he takes little pills during games. Relax, before you start thinking of the worst case scenario, it's not as serious as it sounds. Messi has at times during games been seen pulling a pill out of his sock to swallow it. When it happened originally, it made people around the world go nuts. It made others call for him to be tested immediately for doping, while other wiser people were just curious as to what pill the goat was seen taking, as there had to be a reason for the strange occurrence. Turns out it was a glucose pill and he was taking it to help with the nausea he sometimes suffered during games. There were times earlier in his career when he used to throw up on the pitch and the pills were to stop this from happening. See, not so serious after all. The throwing up was apparently caused by how much sweets he ate beforehand, yet when he stepped on the field, he destroyed everyone. Turns out that the goat is so amazing that he even inspires those of us who indulge in the sweeter side of life. Maybe even we can be like him, or maybe we'll pass out after five minutes of running. Number three, he has a tattoo of a certain set of lips. Messi has been known to have many different tattoos all over his body, with his right arm and left leg bearing the brunt of them. Some of them have religious undertones such as the image of Jesus on his right arm, while others are more family-based. He has tattooed a picture of his mum's face on his back, while also tattooing the handprints of second child Tiago on his left leg. These are the tributes to the people he loves most, God and his family. His wife Antonella has been known to be a big part of his life ever since Messi first developed a crush on her when they were just kids. Because of this, he has the highest regard for his wife and he has used his body to show his love to her. Firstly, he has a tattoo of her eye on his right arm. We wonder if the tattoo artist had to get measurements from Antonella first for this one. But the second, and even crazier one, just happens to be the one of his wife's lips and he wouldn't guess where it is. Here's a hint, it's not on his arms or legs, not even on his neck. It's just below his waistline near his groin and near something else we don't really want to mention. The lips are of a kiss and they are coloured red as Messi may like this colour lipstick on his wife most of all. The tattoo is not easily visible as it would require the Argentine to have his shirt off and shorts low so we're guessing it was one for just the two of them to know about. Number four, his drunk language. Now this may be familiar to many of us. We all tend to act differently when we get drunk. Some feel on top of the world while others just want to be left alone. But for many of us, the constant thing is talking and Messi takes this to a whole new level. Those of us who do talk a lot during these times tend to speak in our first language, whether it be English, Spanish, French, Italian, or something else entirely. The Argentine, on the other hand, uses his time to polish up on his Catalan. He is fluent in both Spanish and Catalan, but you can only hear him speak in the latter when he's drunk. 
The team discovered this when one evening while celebrating Barcelona's league title win, Messi was screaming, Visca el Barça, Visca Catalunya, Tele Aguante Argentina, La Concha de su Madre, which translates to Long live Barça, Long live Catalunya and Argentina. We cannot imagine the many things the Argentine has said during moments that only his teammates have seen. For Messi's sake, let's hope that those stay private. Number 5. He is a big foodie and clinomaniac. I know you're wondering what clinomaniac means, but have no fear, because we here at Goal 90 have you covered on that one. A clinomaniac is someone who excessively enjoys sleeping and staying in bed, and Messi just happens to be someone like this. His sister revealed that he used to sleep for more than 12 hours a day, and even when not asleep, he would just stay in bed. Again, sounds like the goat is just one of us. It's a pity that we can't get paid for staying in bed like he does though. His exploits with food are well documented as well, as he often enjoys sugary and downright unhealthy food. This was something that was affecting his career early on, as we've discussed back at number 2. It is said that his most unhealthy obsession was with Coca-Cola, even forcing Guardiola to remove a vending machine with the beverage from the stadium, as Messi would often be seen there. I ate badly for many years, chocolates, fizzy drinks and everything. That is what made me throw up during games, Messi said. No worries though, as he has since changed his ways, eating a lot healthier in an effort to prolong his career and keep him in the best possible shape. We'd bet there may be still a Coke or two in his fridge at times though. Number 6. He hates talking on the phone. If you are planning to coach Messi or play with him, the last way you would want to reach out to him is via the phone. He reportedly hates calls and goes out of his way to avoid them. It is a well-known fact that he is shy and antisocial, and these two make up the reasons for this particular nugget of information. So if you ever find yourself with Messi's number, remember to just text him because if you call, he might not pick up. There you have it, those were six things about Messi you may not have known. We hope we surprised you with at least one, if not all of our points today. If we did, tell us down below in the comments which one you didn't know about. If you knew all of them, then tell us that as well and let us in on something else rare about him since you must know him personally. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it and be sure to subscribe to the channel. Also, make sure to turn on bell notifications so that you never miss out on any of our new content and we'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.